Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 Review. This is question 8F. What we're supposed to do is just simplify the following and realize that these are going to be sum and difference identities here. Now, you just gotta look at the pattern here. Two tangent of five pi over six over one minus tangent squared of five pi over six. This is a double angle okay, tangent identity here. And you just gotta get used to it. You, you would benefit from uh, having that identity sheet next to you while you're doing these things. Or, or spend some time going over them so that you recognize these patterns here. This is going to be the same as the tangent of two times the angle that we're seeing right there. Whoops, sorry. I'm already anticipating the, the final answer. There should be five pi over six, two times five pi over six. Now, when you multiply that by, by two, the five pi over six is gonna become five pi over three, okay? Now, 5 pi over 3. Let's just think about that. The reference angle here is going to be pi over 3. Okay, we just ignore the, the coefficient in the numerator. 5 pi over 3. Okay, let's just talk about that. If we are breaking pi up into thirds, okay, it's going to look like that. And if I've got five of them, that's starting on the positive x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, that's going to put us clearly in the fourth quadrant. So tangent is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant. So this is going to be equivalent to the negative tangent of pi over three, my reference angle. Okay, now let's think about let's think about pi over three. Now whether you're using the unit circle or, or special triangles, you should see pretty quickly that this is going to be root three, but still negative because we're in the fourth quadrant. So then the answer here is going to be negative root three.